Hello everyone and welcome to the second part of my MSI notebook review and also service guide or upgrade guide because today I'm going to continue with taking apart the notebook and installing a storage option on solid state drive and I have plenty of options to choose from we'll see after we open it up what is the better choice for our case so to access the storage on this notebook you don't have a quick access hatch you actually need to take all the bottom part out in one single piece and to do that you have a lot of screws around which you need to take them all out to be able to access it the good thing is that all the screws are the same so there's no worry in misplacing them and uh, trying to find their original place back there is also one hidden screw here which is the factory seal which I'm going to poke and remove the last screw from here but that is questionable because you may just voided your warranty and now I need to start from one corner such as this corner and use a plastic card because I'm not going to use my fingernails and now gently I'm going to work around and around After you have opened this corner here about until here and to that side you are just going to push from this part like that and push it from the back and will go out like that and then push it in that direction and it will release the latches because the back cover it's held in place by all the jacks here and the heat sinks there right so now inside you get a lot of space as you can see you have the memory extension port here this is the regular hard drive that comes with the notebook but there is also this port with this tiny screw and this is the m.2 port and this allows uh, another drive to be installed a drive such as this one and that means that you can keep the regular drive or you can replace it with a normal solid state drive but you can also add another solid state drive here which is my intention because I do a lot of video editing and I need a lot of space of course I need speed but I will have a fast solid state drive and for storage I'm going to keep the one terabyte drive for all those video files that I need to store right so to install it we're just going to remove this screw like that and then I'm going to install this drive like that it enters at an angle and then you just press it I'm going to keep it pressed and prepare 
to put the screw back and just like that I have installed the solid state drive on this M.2 port and I'm keeping the drive. If you want to add extra memory which I'm going to add later, I haven't processed it yet, you can use the other slot. As for the original memory, let's take a quick look at it. It comes with a Samsung module, it's 8 gigabytes and it's a 2400 uh, speed rating so you can search for the same type of memory to be sure that you won't have problems and compatibility issues. Another interesting thing about the battery is that it's not replaceable, at least uh, not replaceable that you can take it out and put it back from the external side of the notebook. It's here on this connector you can of course replace it but it's kind of internal the good thing is that it's using Samsung cells which are one of the best uh, available on the market so the battery should last for a good period of time before it starts to lose its lifespan before putting the cover back I want to show you another trick there is a small push button here and that push button it's actuated through this hole on the cover and that is used in case of uh, the laptop goes into uh, frozen mode and you cannot restart it regularly you should need to take the battery out and the battery is inside then you don't need to take the laptop apart you just are going to use a pin keep this button pressed and it will restart the battery and it will shut down the laptop and uh, that will get you from that situation without taking it apart priority list there is no SSD drive it's only the regular hard drive so you cannot actually select it as a booting device but that is not a problem you need your uh, USB drive with operating system on it and if I restart it first I'm going to select I'm going to save changes and restart and then I'm going to enter the setup again with the USB stick already inserted into the USB port and in boot options I'm going to select my USB drive and that's the only thing I'm going to select for now and I'm going to save and exit and when you are going to install the new operating system beside the drive one which is my regular hard drive which has a lot of partitions already created by MSI when they installed this uh, notebook because it has recovery partitions and things like that it now detects the unallocated space here which is drive 0 and is my solid state drive so now I can partition this and install Windows on it and after that at the first reboot I can select it then from uh, the setup and add it as a booting device there is also another method you can select boot mode as legacy you are going to restart the notebook and after that when it enters the setup again it will automatically detect all the drives in legacy mode and now you can select your wanted drive from here you can select their order and then you can properly select the booting order from here without any kind of issues the same goes for the USB drive and if you have network boot enabled you can use that so now I can properly install Windows very easily so I'm just going to select my USB drive with operating system on it and my new solid state drive as a second boot option so I can do a Windows setup for example very easy it will boot from the USB 
and then it will install on the solid state drive then after the restart it will continue working with the solid state drive and that was it the solid state drive is now installed windows is almost installed and that's it be sure to follow my next uploads where i'm going to continue the series with this laptop i'm going to put it to some real benchmarks install some games get some more information about it and you will see how it performs of course in english until then bye bye